Welcome to this short video tutorial on obtaining ebooks via the Durham Community College Library System. We will begin on the Durham Tech homepage, durhamtech.edu. From there, to access the library page, we'll go under Current Students, scroll down a little bit, and go to Library. Uh, just want to point out a couple of things to you before we go ahead and get started on our search. One is that the Chat Now with a Librarian button will take you to a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week chat service uh, that will be Durham Tech librarians from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. Evenings and weekends will be a librarian somewhere else in North Carolina. So you always have resources to help if you're having trouble accessing anything, questions about citations, uh, just anything the librarian could help you with. Uh, research assistance will contain other tutorials uh, like this one. So let's go to Search Library. Search Library looks at all of our collections, digital and print. Uh, so let's assume that our project is on the Korean War. And I just do a basic keyword search on Korean War. Uh, I get 1.6 million results. Uh, what I'm getting are things like book. This is a book on the shelf at another library. Uh, there are newspaper articles, journal articles, etc. Uh, we only want things that are ebooks right now, so let's limit to full text online. And then items at my institution, which you shouldn't need, but it doesn't hurt to add it anyways. Uh, and the big change here is going to be doing ebooks. So full text online, items at my institution, books and ebooks. Now we're down to 1,700 results. Uh, on the right hand side, we have a little uh, summary of the Korean War uh, from Credo Reference, which is a database service we have. You can also use that for reference. Um, this uh, will show you a title, a little bit of information about the book. Preview will give you a summary of what the book covers. And at the bottom, you can have subjects. So in case you're still getting a bunch of miscellaneous junk and you're not able to be specific enough, using subjects will help you craft more specific searches that can be more useful to you. Let's go ahead and look at the full text of this online. Uh, at this point, you will have to do this from home as well. Uh, you will need to log in with your Durham Tech ID and password, same as for Sakai, webmail, anything like that. Um, that's because we're off campus. Uh, so we've come to JSTOR, a database of, uh, that contains, among other things, ebooks. We're looking at the Korean War in Britain, Citizenship, Selfhood, and Forgetting. Uh, we can get a citation for this item. Uh, I always recommend getting into citations while you're looking at things, just in case. And if we move down, uh, we'll see some of the uh, stuff from the book that we can take a look at. They break it up into chapters, uh, so you can do one chapter at a time. Your options, if we say we don't want this chapter, is to read online, uh, to download as PDF for offline reading later. You can save it to a free account that you create in this database, um, or again, you can get a citation. So let's say we want to read it online. This is what that's going to look like. I'll still give you the book information, tell you where you are in the book, give you a citation. Uh, it shows you essentially an image uh, PDF of what the book pages actually look like, which is useful. So if there are illustrations, charts, graphs, et cetera, those will show up. So let's say we're reading this. It looks really great. I want to download it. Uh, I'm going to accept the terms and conditions. And at this point, it will pop up a PDF of that chapter, which you can then download for offline reading. And that is essentially looking at ebooks. Now, I did want to go back and show you a different database. Uh, and there, the way that they do ebooks, this one I happen to know is in EBSCO, or ebook central request. Uh, so that's the database up here. Something to pay attention to somewhere on the page for these will usually be the Durham Tech Community College name to show that you're logged in and properly authenticated. If that's not showing up, that'll be why you're having trouble accessing items and you need to go back to our website and start from there again. Uh, so in EPS or eBook Central, you can read uh, online like the other ones, or you can download the entire book for um, later use, non-internet use, etc. cetera. Uh, you can download a book. You get all the pages. You have to install Adobe Digital Editions or something like that. It's free software. Uh, it's digital rights management. Uh, and then you can check the book out for up to 365 days. Uh, if you don't want to create an account or have problems with that software, you can still download the PDF one chapter at a time, up to 51 pages. Uh, so that is essentially 
getting ebooks from the Durham Tech Library. Uh, please remember if you're having any problems or issues uh, accessing materials during this time, the chat librarian service is available for you 24 hours, seven days a week. Good luck, and we are definitely here for you.